guys, so it is Sunday the 18th, um, so it is not quite the time hopathon yet, but I just thought I would start my vlog here because we are about to leave my house now to go to Donegal, um, which where I will be for the most most of the uh, the time hopathon, so I'll be there until Saturday. Um, so yeah, so the dogs are very impatient and ready to go. Hey Luna, 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 hey. So we have Luna and Desi there, and then under here, you can't even see him. There's Jeremy there, fast asleep. Well, yeah, it's not asleep yet, but hopefully he will sleep because this is only his second time coming to Donegal. Well, it's his third, but it's the second time within like a year. And because uh, he's gotten old, he's 15 now, so we can't really leave him at home, and he gets quite distressed now if we were to leave if we were to leave him alone without the other two. Um, even though he pretends to hate them, but then when he's away from them, he gets really distressed. So we can't actually um, leave him alone. So yeah, so he's coming up with us now. Um, so yeah, luckily he's small enough that he can fit in behind my seat on the floor. So it's grand. Um, the other two have their harnesses on and their donkey seat belts and stuff. And he's attached by his lead to my seat. So they're all secure and they're all safe. Um, and they are all ready to go. Hey, Desi. Desi. Hey. Desi's my baby, hey? Yeah. This is what Desi does while I'm driving. Gives me a little bit of little bit of companionship, hey? While I'm driving. You my best driving buddy. My driving buddy. Yeah. Lucas? Lucas? Oh, thank you. Yeah, so he's best. Hey Luna. Luna just wants to go to the beach. Um so yeah, I will get on to you guys later, let you know what I'll be reading. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later on, it's like an hour or so later, and I just stopped to um get a little bit of food and I decided I would go on to like kind of a, a later place that's a little bit bigger I can let the dogs just run around for a few minutes and do their wheeze and poos and stuff and Luna rolled in something and I don't know what she rolled in but it stinks and I like I can't I can't go any further in the car with her smelling like this so I've had to buy baby wipes baby powder everything and I've laddered her in baby powder right now to try and make her feel make her smell a bit better and like I'm covered like look at my hands I'm covered in baby powder right now my trousers like I don't know what she I don't know what she what she rolled in but it just is awful oh hi um so it is later on it is like what time is it it's 10 to 7 um so I'm obviously up in Donegal as you saw earlier um I have unpacked I have the fire on and I am just settling down in my dressing gown and blankie to read my book now. Um, I'm like 7% into The Toymakers by Robert Disdale and so far it's really good. Like I mean literally only like at the very start of it but already it is like super sweet and magical. A little bit night circusy. y um, so far with like the magic, like magical realism where people just kind of accept the magic. Um, that's what it seems like anyway but I am enjoying it so far anyway. Um, I just discovered that there's been loads of mice under the sink so I've just had to clean the sink out and sweep up all of that and I'm going to have to clean it all out tomorrow like wash it all down so that's great but I'm just going to leave that till tomorrow because I just don't want to deal with it right now especially with Luna's rolling smell debacle earlier as well. I'm going to read my book, enjoy my fire as you can see there um, and yeah and <laughs> hey and enjoy my Doggy time. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Luna! Go for a walk. Do you want to go to the beach? Go for a walk. Go 
go for a walk. Hey guys, so I thought I should probably give an actual reading update, seeing as I have um, just been showing you clips of the dogs and my breakfast and stuff like that. It is Tuesday afternoon, and um, I finished the Toy Masters by Robert Disdale last night, and I really, really enjoyed it. I gave it a 4.5 at a start, 4.5 stars, and it is just so cute and so magical, and I definitely recommend people check it out because it was adorable. So I am almost 200 pages. How many pages am I on now? Yeah, I'm like 196 pages into Here Be Dragons um, by Sharon Penman. And uh, I am enjoying this so far, but it is definitely a slow burner. Like this is about Joanna's marriage to Llewellyn, Prince of Wales. She is actually the bastard daughter of King John. There's a lot of background in like with King John and like the tumultuous relationship he has with his siblings and his father and his mother and stuff like that and um, his mother is Eleanor of Aquitaine and I've read I've already read a few books about her and she's just so interesting she's a very very interesting woman in history I'm hoping to get maybe another 200 pages read tonight um like it's it's not super fast reading but it's not super slow either considering the bulk of it um I feel like I have gotten like I mean like I only started this last night and I'm only oh, already 200 pages in so um only 200 pages in 600 more to go so. that nice Luna is that nice So it is Wednesday morning um, and I am currently about 340 pages into Here Be Dragons and I am very much enjoying it. I'm not sure exactly like how much I'll get read today and um, hopefully I'll be able to get a good chunk read later but I am really enjoying it as I said it is a little bit heavy going but so far so good I am like even if it's slow I am enjoying the story and really getting involved in the characters lives and stuff. Um, thing is with me when I'm reading historical fiction I always end up like looking up the person before I finish up the book to see exactly what happens to them and like how they die and their children and stuff like that so um, I kind of know how things like eventually end up I just don't know how they will go in terms of this being a novel obviously and not um, as far as I know I don't think a whole lot is really known about Joanna who is Llewellyn's wife who this mainly focuses on so um, it will be interesting to see how all that kind of ends up even though this is the first in a trilogy so I don't know whether the trilogy follows the children or still follows Joanna and Llewellyn so I guess I just have to wait and see on that one so yeah I'm kind of wondering if I want to maybe take a small break later and read a like novella or something that I have on my kindle because I do have my kindle up with me the last novella I actually bought was the sleeping sickness by A. Or Hellbender who which is actually Roya um from Unicorn Hunter books and um, this is a novella that she wrote as far as I know I think it's a slight maybe sleeping beauty retelling but I'm not 100% sure um but Hey guys, so it is Thursday evening. Well, it's really like Friday morning because it's like 2 a.m. Um, and I just finished Here Be Dragons, which is here. So I just finished Here Be Dragons and yeah, I really liked this. Um, really good historical fiction. It did like, there were times where it dragged it a little bit. Like there were some bits, a lot of stuff to do with like King John and stuff that I don't think I really needed to know. It was kind of a little bit info dumpy parts about that. Um, and a little bit info dumpy about things to do with like excommunication and the Pope and all this kind of stuff, both with King John and with Llewellyn at different times. Um, and I was just kind of like, I was more interested in obviously knowing more about Joanna and getting back to Joanna's story and Joanna and Llewellyn and stuff like that. So um, 
yeah so there are bits that did drag a tiny bit but overall i did really really enjoy this i think i'm gonna really good, give it a four out of five stars pages. so um yeah 800 pages in like three days yeah th four days um i'm pretty happy with that i can i can deal with that um so i'll probably pick up new york 2140 tomorrow evening at some point um i'm working for a while in the morning in like a few hours and then uh i have to go home i'm gonna drive home to dublin then so yeah i won't have any reading time until tomorrow evening at the latest Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon and I'm just out on a walk with the dogs. Um, I didn't get loads of reading done last night or this morning. I watched Call the Midwife last night because I forgot to watch it on Sunday so I wanted to catch up on that episode. And then I got my hair done and my eyebrows done today. Um, as you can see, yes, they look so much better, especially my eyebrows. Um, I actually have properly shaped eyebrows now. Um, so yeah, I read a bit in the hairdresser's so I'm about 150-ish pages into New York 2140 and it's okay so far. It's like not my favourite, it'll definitely not be my favourite. I think it might be a three to a four star. But yeah, there are just some chapters that like are just so boring and I find myself just completely zoning out when I'm reading them. There are other chapters that are really good, that are more interesting, more kind of about the characters rather than about like the markets and like the stock and stuff like that. Ready? Are you ready? What? Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. Hi guys, so it is Monday afternoon um, and I'm just home from work so it is like almost six o'clock. So obviously I didn't update last night because I didn't finish New York 2140 until like half 11 and I was like half asleep with spot cream all over my face and I didn't really want to film that. Um, I also did not want that to be like the last clip of the vlog because that wouldn't have been a very pretty sight. So um, I decided to wait until now. So yeah, so I finished New York 2140. I gave it three stars as I predicted I would quite early on and um, again it's kind of the same I said it all in my wrap up um, which I will link up above in the cards you most of you have probably already seen um, I liked the characters um, I generally liked the setting but I didn't like all the info dumpy parts about um, about New York and the history of New York and the stock markets and all that kind of stuff it just wasn't for me and um, but it wasn't the worst book ever um, but it wasn't certainly wasn't the best book ever so yeah it was just a meh kind of book. Thank you guys so much for following my uh, vlog. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I know it's basically just all dogs um, but yeah uh, I'm happy enough with that to be honest. So yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!